White pine blister rust is a fungus that can devastate your pines. Let's go take a look and see if we can find any signs of it. Well, here's a pine that looks pretty healthy, but uh, it's got a couple places where it's got like a dead little twig branch on it that could be blister rust. And you want to clip them off of there because if that fungus travels all the way to the stem of the tree, it can kill the tree or kill everything above where it infects the tree. So let's clip them out of there. I think I'm just going to take that whole branch just in case it got into that stem. How about this other one I saw? Oh, here's some here. You just never know if it's blister rust or dieback, but of some other sort. But if it looks suspicious, I'd say just get it out of there. And you're sure. This one, I'm gonna have to pull the branch down to get at it. I'm just gonna take that hole. Them off of there. All right. Well, I got what I could see. I right, reach. I don't see much of it in here, but uh, where it is, I'll clip it out. This one over here's got something that I can get at. Got to go through the briars to get there, but that's all right. Stem here. This one over here too. There. The blister rust fungus uh, is hosted by I think I I read that gooseberry well uh, gooseberry plants, and it's suspected that certain other plants host it as well, such as Indian paintbrush and a couple others. But uh, here's a dead tree that uh, I don't know if it was blister rust that killed it, but certainly a dead pine. And here's another one over here that uh, succumbed to something. I think it pays to just take a walk in the woods uh, a couple times a year and see if you can find any rust colored branches and uh, rust, rust needles on the branches and trim them off and hopefully that'll help. Another thing you can do that I mentioned in a previous video is trim the lower branches off of the pines because uh, if they get in contact with any of these other plants that host the, the fungus, they can spread it onto the tree then. Here's another branch with some dead needles on it. And there's a tree in here that, I don't know, it might got shaded out by the other trees through competition, but let's get rid of this. Now this, branch is kind of discolored. I don't know if you can see right in here. That's discolored and, and it's got, has these uh, bubbles on it. And I think that might be the start of the blister rust on that branch because it gets that bubbly look to it. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut that whole branch off. Okay. So I cut that whole branch off because this sure looks like it could be blister rust, and I don't want that to travel down into the main stem of the tree. I think on pine trees, a lot of times, the lower branches don't get enough sun to stay alive, and so 
there's a natural dieback of lower branches. Of course, when you're looking for signs of blister rust, it's hard to tell the difference. So uh, in the case of this tree here, uh, it's a lower branch that seems to be pretty well shaded by the other branches and there's other dead branches just below it. So I'm just going to cut that branch off just for safety and prevention of blister rust. Even if it is, isn't blister rust, it's, I can be sure if I cut that off that it won't get to the tree. Well, I just love white pines and I love the look of them. And I enjoy being out here in the woods, and so working on blister rust is something I actually enjoy doing, taking care of my forest. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.